Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about this. Who you know, specifically, we're going to be looking at the new Eyes of Tomorrow exotic rocket launcher that came out in the raid. If I sound weird, uh, A, my girlfriend's sleeping right now, and I'd rather not wake her up because she has to work early in the morning. And B, I'm actually exhausted. I've been up for about 12, 15 hours. Now I don't even remember anymore. And we've been doing nothing but the raid, and I'm actually quite exhausted. So... We're going to be looking at the raid. We're going to be looking at a few things here and there. But ultimately, we're going to be basically doing some damage numbers. And I'm going to show you like just a few things that I caught after I got the game, after I got the gun. Honestly, I'm not going to talk too much about this. I'd rather just show you what it can do. And then probably in a later video, I'll actually speak more about it. But just to give you the quick uh, TLDR. I think it's worth it. I think this rocket launcher is gonna be really fucking good because I actually got numbers to show you guys. So eyes of tomorrow. Before we show you the the numbers, let's talk about the perks real quick so you guys can understand the numbers more. So adaptive ordinance, killing four or more combatants in a single volley increases the damage of the next volley, and then the intrinsic trait, which is eyes on all. This weapon is capable of tracking and firing at multiple targets simultaneously. Essentially, I think it's, what is it? Six volleys or six rocket launchers or six rockets. And I apologize again, I'm fucking exhausted. But if I remember correctly, it's six rocket launchers that come out. So each of them do separate damage. And what's wild is that you can combine this with a certain perk. For, the, for those of you who are savvy, you guys will probably know which one I'm talking about. But let's look at the numbers real quick because I wrote them down if I can ever find here this okay so eyes of tomorrow <sighs> the base damage uh, with no buff is this I'm not gonna say the numbers just because I don't do no so this is the base number without any buffs uh, I think that's pretty pretty respectable and then we get up to with the adaptive ordinance which is kill four or more enemies basically like kill clip and it does it does a quite a bit amount more but if you guys know any uh anything about the charged with light you guys will know that there is a charged with light perk called let me see if i have it on my i should have it it's called argent ordinance which essentially means that your rocket launcher does more damage when you when it, when you're charged with light and this is without any buffs, only the God Slayer Warheads, which is what I just said, the Ardent's Ordinance. This is the buff with just that. The cool thing is Adaptive Ordinance does stack with God Slayer Warheads as well. So in total, like if you really want to max out that damage, this is the number you would actually be striving for, which is pretty fucking insane because that's essentially almost double what the no buff does already. So. I think that's pretty wild, but obviously I'm going to show you gameplay of me killing the Cabal dude. I forget his name. I, Carl, I think his name is. Um, I've been killing him a bunch, and dude, this weapon, it feels so much fun. Not only that, let's talk about a few things here and there. So the cool thing is, Eyes of, the, Eyes of Tomorrow, you actually don't have to aim with it. You can just hip fire it, and you'll still be able to get that stack of... Uh, the adaptive ordinance you'll still be able to get that so you don't have to actually lock into anything so if you have a bunch of enemies spread out just hit fire it and you'll still get the ordinance which is really cool um what i can want to use this and i want to use this in pvp specifically because like i said this is essentially the way i explained or the way i thought of it, it was this is basically war cliff coil but if it was better because it actually has really good tracking guys you guys will see in the video right now it has really good tracking not only that it has a kill clip type system where you have to get four or more kills to gain a buff and the buff is pretty foul not only that but you can actually stow your rocket launcher and the the buff will still be there so it's only until you actually dis like charge or discharge then you lose that but if you get four more kills from that then it's just going to keep stacking on top of it so personally i want to say this exotic could be like 
a boss killer. My only issue with it is to really get that juicy DPS, you have to kill four enemies, plus have the the Ardent Ordinance, or I just I just said it not too long ago. Again, I'm exhausted. This raid really took a lot out of me. So yeah, you have to combine the Adaptive Ordinance with the Goddess Slayer Warheads to really benefit from that. And one, you have to have four kills, and the other, you have to be charged with the, with light. Charged with light is really not that hard. It's the four kills that really makes me nervous because usually in DPS phases, we don't have enemies coming up to us in raids, aside from like a few here and there. But within this raid, this specific raid, there was no other enemies near us. So unfortunately, you'd only be able to pop off the adaptive ordinance once. And then the God Slayer Warheads, obviously, you'd probably be able to do two volleys if you're charged with light, unless you have more charges of light, obviously. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty foul, the amount of ammo you can have on the weapon as well i'll show you guys in the screen right now i don't remember off the top of my head but dude like if you have a chance to do the raid psh, the new one bite dude do it it's so worth it it's gonna be so much fun like just thinking about like gambit oh my god dude gambit that's the one that kind of scares me because you can track up to what is it six enemies i think so you could essentially just destroy the whole team if you're lucky. And the volleys are actually really fucking cool. Uh, the, way, the way I've been using them is I just shoot up in the air. And then the volleys will go up a little bit and then they'll just start tracking. It, dude, it feels so fucking cool. Bungie, I'll give it to you. This is one of my favorite exotics and it's a rocket launcher. I know a lot of people have been comparing it to Hello, Hello, Hello Horn. I wouldn't go that far only because you have to get a kill in order to benefit from that dps increase and gallahorn was just filthy all like by itself it didn't need a like like a buff like that so i will i would i will definitely i will definitely say this is like the more realistic gallahorn that we have because i do understand that gallahorn was it like was kind of broken because I was there, I witnessed what, what it could do. And I feel like this is like a better version, of, or not a better version of that, but like a more fair version of that for the devs, I guess. Because it's not like something that's gonna be super broken. You actually have to work to make it this good. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna have some, some gameplay in the background for it for a little bit if you guys wanna see like just how it shoots, how it feels and whatnot. Uh, I do apologize if this video was a little weird. It's just like, again, I'm really tired. My girlfriend's sleeping and I'm just all around. All, like tomorrow I got to do, do the raid again because two of our clan mates, one of them had to leave because he was getting a headache. And another one actually came in at the boss and helped us kill it. But he didn't do the other stuff. So he didn't get his day one, uh, day one ban or uh, day one emblem which I will show you guys right now. This is the day one emblem and I fucking love it. It looks cool as fuck. This is my first day one emblem ever. And I'm actually quite proud of it because it it was rough. It, re it really was rough. Uh, I will definitely be doing videos of the raid, of the weapons, of the armor. If you guys probably saw, I actually have oh, three pieces of the armor already. Unfortunately, I ended up getting duplicates a few times with I think these arms were from they were from a box so that's okay but I got two cheap two chest pieces from like two encounters and I was like I want to get mad but I'm a whatever and yeah it's really cool uh, I got a mod as well dude like the raid was wild really really wild <sighs> but yeah uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, link are in the description below. I really appreciate every one of you guys. I really do. Uh, I have more content coming in. Uh, I might have some World of Warcraft just because I have the expansion. Uh, and yeah, guys, just let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'm so tired. So yeah, later. Yeah.